Hello and welcome to the video on plotting 1D functions in MATLAB. Here is the content. I introduce a plot command. I show you some attributes and options around the plot command. I explain why the dot operator is important in the plot command. And finally, I show you how to plot multiple functions in one window. So how does MATLAB plot functions? Uh, this is similar to drawings by hand. So we start with a table of values. Here is a table of values, x values and y values, the so function values. And then you draw the pairs of values in a coordinate system and connect the points. So here is a coordinate system. We draw the points and then we connect them. Here are the two steps which are necessary to plot a 1D function in MATLAB. The first step is we have to define x positions at which the function values are to be plotted. So here is the definition. Uh, we uh, call the vector x. We start with zero in this example. We use the step length or step size 0.05. Uh, that's how we increase uh, the vector values and we end uh, with a value of 10. And then in the second step, we just plot the function. We write plot x, it's for the x data, comma, and then we insert the function which we uh, want to plot, in this case, x squared. And here it's important that we use the dot operator. Why is this important? Um, because x is a vector and you want the square to be taken element wise for each element and that's why we need the dot operator else we would get an error message and if we did so here is the result uh, we obtain a normal parabola here are plot attributes and options which you can add at the end of the plot command separated by a comma for example the color code or uh, the specifier for the line, a dashed line, a solid line, which is default, or a specifier for the marker for the points that you plot. Okay, let's switch to MATLAB. I first insert the vector. Maybe let's start at 1, uh, 0 0.01 uh, step length, and we end at uh, 5 or something. And now we want to plot. We plot it x, comma, x squared and now I forgot the dot operator and you see you obtain an error message and MATLAB gives you the hint that you should perform this element wise. So uh, I change this to dot squared and then we obtain here the plot. It's a part of a parabola. Uh, you can directly change in the plot window some attributes. If you select uh, this edit file for example, you can go here onto the line and a right mouse click gives a sub menu. Uh, typically, I, typically, I suggest uh, to select a line wide of two. Uh, you can change the color. I uh, go here to color and you can select a different color and so on. And you certainly can change uh, the attributes here in the plot command. So separated by a comma and now an R gives a red um, curve. And if I add minus minus, then it's a dashed red curve. Okay, we already saw that we have to apply the dot operator and that's a typical mistake uh, that students do. So uh, that's the reason why I give you here some examples where to use the dot operator. Now we already saw it uh, if we uh, calculate the square of our vector x and that's in general uh, true if we want to calculate powers we always need the dot operator. Here is an example we multiply two functions sine and cosine then we need the dot operator it's dot times cosine. If you divide by x one divided by x is with the dot operator because it's element by element. And certainly if you add a power or something into another function, for example, here the exponential function, then you need the dot operator for the power. And if you combine expressions here, for example, a polynomial, um, then we need for the powers, the dot operator. If you add something, that's no, not a problem. You don't need the dot operator because you can simply add vectors. And if you multiply with a number here, in this example too, you also don't need a dot operator because it's a usual vector operation. 
Here's the last topic for this video. How can we plot multiple functions in one window? There are two possibilities. The first one is we use one command. That is, we write down plot x sine x, y cosine y. So the first two arguments are the plot of the first function. Uh, sine is plotted at the vector x. And the second two arguments uh, correspond to the second function. So here we plot a cosine at the vector y. You certainly can also plot the cosine at the vector x. It doesn't really matter. Uh, remark, MATLAB automatically uses different colors for the different functions. The first function is typically plotted in blue, the second function in red, and so on. So here is the second possibility. We use multiple commands. So we start with the first plot, with the first function, plot x sine x. And if we then would add the second function, plot x cosine x, then uh, the sine plot would be deleted and we just see the cosine. So that's why we have to place a hold on after the first plot command. That tells MATLAB that we want to continue plotting functions in the same window and that MATLAB should not delete the old uh, plots. Uh, and uh, MATLAB adds then several plots as long as we write down hold off. And again, MATLAB automatically uses different colors for the different functions if we use this hold on command. Okay, let's change to MATLAB. I already implemented the vector x from 0 to 2 pi, and now I want to plot the sine. Here you see the sine plot. And now if I plot uh, a cosine without an hold on, now you see that the sine is gone. So what do we have to do? I plot the sign first, I write hold on, and then I plot the cosine, and now you see that you have both curves in one figure.